I have a little box here and this is from Shrimp Mania. So let's get this um, unboxed and uh, yeah, let's see what he's actually sent me. Guys, I do apologise for how bright my room is recently, right? But, but I said I was going to upgrade the light in my room and I meant for my plants as well, right? Because I'd love to grow lots and lots of plants like this. Look, let's get the banana plants going so we can get the leaves into the tanks. And I've actually turned all of the lights off on this side so you don't get so much re reflections because I've spent the entire day just polishing the tanks and <laughs> doing maintenance and whatever else because I've been so bored but yeah anyway let's get on with a little unboxing and yeah, I don't know what's in here he said he was going to send me something in one of, one of the comments in one of my very recent videos right? so guys shall we look down here let me pan the camera down and uh, we'll have a look let's see what he sent me Shrimp Mania has sent me quite a few packages recently and I really appreciate them. Thank you, sir. Let's see. Hi, Mark. Hope you're doing fine. I've got a gift for you. I started to make my own UGF filter boxes out of acrylic. The one sending you as one of my first UFGs I've made, so it's not perfect. So in here is going to be a UFG filter, UGF filter, and um, I think he's talking something about a telescopic 3D shrimp net, which I actually need. Let's get this unpacked. And we'll see what is in here. It is well packed, I'll give you that. Let's see. Now he says there's, I think he says there's a shrimp net in here, but I, I actually can't see how a shrimp net could be in here. It's so small, a package. Yeah, so if you don't know what a UGF filter is, guys, it is basically what many people call an Asian style filter where you put substrate into the box and you have an uplift tube and and whatever else right so shrimp mania thank you for sending this to me i think you said this was the first one you ever made which um is going to be kind of cool to see because i've actually thought about doing this myself but yeah i've never i've never really learned how to do this stuff properly but yeah you said it was the first one you made look at these edges and that's something special so here we have the filter plate on the bottom your substrate will go on top let's unpack the rest of this first ah look at this little thing that's cool i'm gonna have a look at that in a second guys let's see what's in here you packed it really well let's have a little look yeah so today's been a nightmare guys without having coffee and it, you know it led me to think how unprepared we are for stuff now like over the winter there we had several blackouts and I couldn't find my gas canisters to make hot water and it was a pain in the ass right so from tomorrow I'm going to start to look out for all this stuff I'm going to actually have some water prepared and whatever else look at this this is sweet this looks really cool actually so there's a little pipe inside so this is adjustable another thing I noticed there was these um, air stones that are not made from stone, they're made of plastic, so these will never really dissolve or anything like that. So I take it goes in like this. And then you put this onto here, you slide into this little bracket. We pull this out so you can see guys. What it is like underneath. Made in Taiwan. Let's see, I'm going to try and push this on here. I think this is how it goes in here. <laughs> Maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's just very, very tight. Should we try that again? I'm probably doing it well wrong. I think this is the way it goes. I think so. Maybe I've got it the wrong way around. Let me try the other way. It is very tight as well. Oh no, there you go. It's better to be tight than loose, that's all I'm saying. So this goes above that little hole. And in here guys would be your filter like this. And you'd have your substrate in here. It could be ADA, Akadama, whatever. And then it's adjustable up and down. This is really nice little filter. And I'm actually quite... Surprise that you saying this was your first go actually making these. I've actually cut acrylic myself before and mine was awful compared to this so Shrimp Mania you did a good, really good job with this. Thumbs up. So I'll be using this guys in a future build. Let's have a little look at this net here because 
This is uh, what you call a proper 3D net because a lot of them are not right. So the one, most of the ones I have are named as being 3D nets, but they collapse. Let me, guys, let me just quickly show you so you know what I'm talking about, right? Most of us have this type here, right? And the pain with these ones is over time they just come floppy, and it can be a pain when you're trying to cut a shrimp to use them. So yeah, this is look how small this is. It's so petite. So petite, it's got some plant on it. Oh, I'm going to use that plant. Maybe a bit of water. Trying. Look at this little filler here to keep this open. That is some high quality netting right there. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's so small. <laughs> Look at that. That is amazing. Thank you very, very much for that, Shrimp Mania. I'll put this to good use. You'll see it in plenty of my videos. Thank you, sir. So again, thank you, Leon, for these uh, this lovely little under gravel box here and this little net. I'll put this to good use because I actually have a project coming up pretty soon where I'm actually going to be building another racking system in my office upstairs. It's actually right above here. I hope you've enjoyed today. Thank you very much again, Shrimp Mania, for this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Happy Shrimp King, guys. And remember... Drink loads and loads of coffee, save your water because you never know when it might go off. Oh, learned a hard lesson today. <laughs>